aphids are small sap-sucking insects and members of the superfamily Aphidoidea. Many species are green, but other commonly occurring species may be white and woolly, brown, or black. Aphids are among the most destructive insect pests on cultivated plants in temperate regions. They are capable of extremely rapid increase in numbers by asexual reproduction. The damage they do to plants has made them enemies of farmers and gardeners around the world. From a zoological standpoint, they are a highly successful group of organisms. About 4,400 species are known, all included in the family Aphididae. Around 250 species are serious pests for agriculture and forestry as well as an annoyance for gardeners. They vary in length from 1 to 10 millimeters, 0.04 to 0.39 in. Natural enemies include predatory ladybugs, hoverfly larvae, parasitic wasps, aphid midge larvae, crab spiders, lacewings, and entomopathogenic fungi such as Laconicillium lacani and the entomotherals. Distribution aphids are distributed worldwide but are most common in temperate zones. In contrast to many taxa, aphid species diversity is much lower in the tropics than in the temperate zones. They can migrate great distances, mainly through passive dispersal by riding on winds. For example, the current lettuce aphid, Nasnovia ribis nigri, is believed to have spread from New Zealand to Tasmania in this way. Aphids have also been spread by human transportation of infested plant materials. Anatomy Most aphids have soft bodies, which may be green, black, brown, pink, or almost colorless. Aphids have antennae with as many as six segments. They feed themselves through sucking mouth parts called stylets, enclosed in a sheath called a rostrum, which is formed from modifications of the mandible and maxilla of the insect mouth parts. They have long, thin legs and two jointed, two clawed tarsi. Most aphids have a pair of cornicles or siphunculi, abdominal tubes through which they exude droplets of a quick hardening defensive fluid containing triacylglycerols, called cornical wax. Other defensive compounds can also be produced by some types of aphids. Aphids have a tail like protrusion called dicata above their rectal apertures. They have two compound eyes and an ocular tubercle behind and above each eye, made up of three lenses, called triomedidia. When host plant quality becomes poor or conditions become crowded, some aphid species produce winged offspring, allates, that can disperse to other food sources. The mouth parts or eyes are smaller or missing in some species and forms. Control There are various insecticides that can be used to control aphids, including synthetic insecticides and plant extracts, products that are thought to be more eco-friendly. For example, Shreth et al. suggested use of neem and lantana products to protect plants against aphids. For small backyard infestations, simply spraying the plants thoroughly with a strong water jet every few days may be sufficient protection for roses and other plants. An insecticidal soap solution can be an effective household remedy to control aphids and other soft-bodied arthropods. It will only kill aphids on contact and has no residual action against aphids that arrive after application. Soap spray may damage plants, especially at higher concentrations or at temperatures above 32 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Some plant species are known to be sensitive to soap sprays. Integrated pest management of various species of aphids can be achieved using biological insecticides based on fungi such as Laconicillium lacani, Boviria bassiana, or Pisilomyces fumisorosius. Aphids may also be controlled by the release of natural enemies, in particular lady beetles and parasitic wasps. However, since adult lady beetles tend to fly away within 48 hours after release, Without laying eggs, repeated application of large numbers of lady beetles are needed to be effective. For example, one large, heavily infested rose bush may take two applications of 1500 beetles each. In reality, therefore, 
The only cost-effective situation in which mass release of natural enemies makes sense is in closed or semi-closed environments such as glass houses or polytunnels.